hello i hope we are doing okay today we are, we are going to see 10 methods that you must know in that or flutter if you use flutter so let's start by the first one let me do print so you can subscribe to my channel if you are new let me do print and we start by this first array and these arrays these three arrays are in the description of this video we are, we are going to use them and in the comment you can find them too let me do fruits dot contents let me do mango so we are, we are going to check if this element mango is in this array array list and if it is in to give us true if it is not in to give us false let's let's start our terminal new terminal let's do that array methods dot dot as you can see it is false let me put banana As you can see it is true the banana is inside so let's go to the second one so the second one is for each let me do fruits dot for each let me do each represent ele elements in here orange banana watermelon but let me say fruit so you can understand it and let me use arrow syntax and do print and i will print every fruit in the array and let me do this and as you can see I printed every element in the array orange banana watermelon and pineapple so this is the second one and let's go to the third one is called map is over mapped fruits equals to fruits dot map and e represent element here elements here orange banana watermelon and this is the same as fruit i can even put fruit so you can understand it very well fruit can just put your fruit and do null and i'm going to do i like and do a dollar sign fruit i like fruit and what this will do it will add i like to this or fruits map produces produces a new list after transforming each element in a given array to produce a new list and we add i like orange i like banana so let's print this so you can see it very well print mapped fruit and let's do this as you can see this i like orange i like banana i like watermelon i like pineapple and let's continue and let me comment this too and let's continue to this map mapped array and this is another list of names and edges and the, the array name is persons let me start by name the var 
and let me do result let me show you another one called every every persons dot every and every element every person here name it every person if you want can do every person and I'm going to check if every person here age here I'm checking if everyone is under 90 if everyone here is under 90 it will give us a boolean value true or false so let's print the result print the result let's run this again as you can see it is true everyone is under 90 so if i i put they put 60 as you can see here audrey is 63 it will give us force as you can see it is force so this is the fourth one and let's see another one let me do var result again and let me do person persons dot where where let's do where sorry let's do this where persons where person let's do where person and do the arrow and I'm going to check to print people who are under 40 and to print that you can do person and I'm going to take age and age must be less than 40 this will print will give me people this will give me people who are under 40 let me do print eh, okay i have print here let me save this and let's run this again as you can see everyone here has 40 under 40 or his age is equal to 40 like peter is 40 is less or equal to 40 yeah so all you can do to print someone who is his age is is equal to 16 as you can see we have john the age is 16 so you can pray with it this where i use it very 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 much very often so let's continue so i'm sorry if my english is not fine so let's continue with another one and another one is followed by let's do var result var result equals persons dot followed by here i can add another another element another person let me just show you let me do name okay what we are going to do is this name let me call him call her nadia and let's give him an edge 
age of 28 28 what am i doing 28 and yeah so this will print our array and we add this one this one will follow will follow our array will be added and we follow the will be the last one so let's see here so you can see it very well oh i have to save i have to save i didn't save let's save and run this as you can see name nadia age 28 followers it is because followed by this is the job of following by and let's continue i hope you are running running something new so let's comment this and let's continue let me show you how you can print for example edges only without printing names or printing names without printing edges by using for each let's see for each again and we do persons dot for each and the for each let's do person and use arrow syntax and do print and we take person and let's print name here we will print name only let me just comment this here we will print the name the names only let me show you oh I have to save oh, I have to save this as you can see we are printing names only John Peter Audrey yeah we are printing names only and if i want i can print even edge the edge here i have to change and then print edge only as you can see we are printing edges only here so this is also very useful so let's continue let me do var result equals person persons dot map let me just here specify and I will put dynamic dynamic here we have element and here we are going just to see how we can get the sum the sum the total of the edges so we, we are going to do the sum of the all edges so i'm going to take every element and add them so this is element e stand for element every person e and let's take e let's do e and I'm going to take edge and I'm going to do what we call reduce sorry yeah it is reduce let me just put on the second line so you can see it very well reduce and value here it is the first one and the second one here can transform and do a and here let me do b and what we are going to do after this arrow syntax we do a plus b and from this 
map here we'll take every we transform we will have a, a new list and this list will be containing edges and we will add them from this map list and we we'll add them by using this function this method called reduce and let's see the result i have to uncomment this so we can see the result the total of the all edges as you can see the total is 198 this is the total and let's continue so i think you are running something great here and let me show another one by using this array numbers and you can do numbers dot sort and i will do num num one num num two and let me use arrow syntax and i do num one minus num two and here ah, i forgot to put parentheses let me do this and i put another one here yeah this is it this one will sort this from one it would be one two three four five yeah if i print this let me do print and numbers let me just comment this and print numbers as you can see we have one two three four five but you can reverse this by doing dot reverse and this will be reversed we start by five as you can see five four three two one will be countdown and the last one let me just comment this and the last one will be numbers dot clear and this will will delete every element in numbers let's see and let's run this again as you can see the array is empty so this is for today i hope you have learned something new yeah and i will see you in the next video and if you are new to this channel just subscribe if you have any question just ask i respond very quickly so see you in the next video peace